Hi, and welcome to my playhouse. And today we have a big package here that I'm gonna be um, showing you guys. This has come in from Banggood. Uh, Banggood, a Chinese web company. I usually call them the big boys toy store because they have everything that a big boy wants to play with. And this is no exception. Uh, Banggood has been good enough to reach out to me and ask if I wanted to review something. And from time to time I do want to do that because it, uh, it's fun. Um, so we're gonna have a look at this. This is a flexible solar panel. Yeah, it's thin. This should be a 100 watts flexible solar panel. Um, it's definitely light, so it's, it's, I think it's under 2 kilograms for a 100 watt solar panel. But let's not listen to me ramble along any longer. Let's get this out of the box. It's flexible. I hope it's not broken. If this is broken, it's gonna be a really short video. This did not come from China. It actually came from the UK, which is awesome. Uh, all the custom uh, crap that we have here. Uh, well, uh, but as the UK is on their happy way out of the EU, well, it might get into trouble later. So, yeah. Let's see what we have. Looks like we have the back of it. That's gonna be very interesting. Can we get it open up here? Oh, they have nailed it, but I think we can slide it out this way and just put it on top of the cover. Uh, and this was something I had been communicating with Banggood for, well, kind of, kind of a long time. And uh, this was something that I came up with over the summer uh, while I was doing the lawnmower, the robot, the solar powered robotic lawnmower project. I thought, whoa, a new solar panel, that would be so cool. So, um, okay, so more or less, this is just. It's solar panels, but they're mounted on a flexible piece of plastic here. So probably I shouldn't bend this too much. Um, they look like regular cells, like the cells you get in any other solar panels. But of course those can also bend just a little bit. And uh, it comes with a solar panel instructions here. Hmm, interesting. Solar panel instructions, and there is a little bit about how this works. So let's see if we have some data on this anywhere. Okay, we actually do have some data on the back of the solar panel here. We can see that it's 100 watts, uh, at 25 degrees uh, temperature, operating temperature from minus 40 degrees to 85 degrees Celsius. Uh, we're not gonna reach that in Denmark, so <laughs> no problem there. We have maximum of 5.5 amps, 18 volts. That must be short-circuited amperage. That must be open circuit. We have the size of it. Very nice. So this is very lightweight. So you can more or less have it anywhere. This would be great for having on top of your auto camper or you could even have it on some kind of a weird bicycle maybe a bicycle trailer for an electric bike let's see there are some corner protection thingies uh, there is a layer of protective plastic on top of this that i think we should remove just um, well i'm not gonna have as much pleasure out of this solar panel here doing winter but when the summer comes, we're gonna be having some fun with the solar panel, I'm sure. And my plan is that it's, it's gonna be part of the, of the solar-powered robot lawnmower project. But uh, we'll figure something out that we can test and get some power out of this. You can see there's a plastic protector on here. Well, this looks rather cool. 
So this is what we are dealing with outside here. It's um, the weather is off. really bad. It's winter now. It's the first day of winter. Uh, the sun is over there somewhere. I don't think we're gonna see it in person. We're just gonna. Well, it's there somewhere. So it's it's not as if I'm gonna get much solar power because the sun is not gonna come up. Well, there's actually some blue sky over there, uh, but I don't think it's gonna get high enough in the sky so I'll be able to actually point the solar panel at the sun. So to play with this we need a little bit of artificial sunshine. There, a little bit of that. Cool. Let's, um, let's measure some voltage. So first over here we have the connectors and these are the standard CR4 connectors which is awesome because I have been building solar panels or well, I haven't been building them, I've been putting up solar panels and they use the same CR4 connectors uh, which is a good standard for this so you can short circuit them like that, that would not be a good idea but it means that they can be hooked up to anything uh, with these CR4 connectors uh, but we can also just measure the voltage of them which was what I'm gonna try here so we need to measure some voltage, we need to tell it that this is AC and they, they have been so nice to mark this one as the minus and this one as the plus. Awesome. So it's measuring 11.34 volts here inside um, without the real sun. Can you see that? 11.35 ish. So, okay. Um, we could try and point it out the window and see what we get out of that. Okay, the solar panel is here. It's clear to see, you can see that. It's not optimal position because um, all my windows are too small. Panels out here, it's not getting enough light. The ones in the middle, probably okay. So let's measure some voltage on that. We're getting 13.08 volts out of this. So we have we have good 12 volts there. So what can we do with 12 volts in the window? Hmm. Let me think about that. So as it is winter here, I have my uh, fireplace or wood stove burner going here in the corner. And um, I am only here in the weekend. So when I get here Friday afternoon, um, it's bloody cold. Today, oh well actually yesterday when I arrived, it was eight degrees in the entire house. That has been part of my planning when I have been uh, renovating this house, which is also why this radiator here in the living room is twice the size as an all, well, it would only have to be half the size to actually heat the living room. But if it's double the size, it can heat it a lot faster. And so um, I would like it to become hot at my playhouse here. Uh, sometimes Friday evening instead of Sunday afternoon when I'm supposed to be going home again. The radiator is heated by a wood stove in the basement and a heat pump. Out here is the heat pump and they excuse the dirty windows and some bird has decided to get, put a shit on top of it. But a heat pump is really most efficient if it can deliver a low temperature uh, water output. So if I wanted to have this heat pump making 60 degrees warm water for my radiators, well, it will be very inefficient. But right now it's delivering 45 degrees hot water to the radiators and therefore it's way more efficient. Uh, the heat pump is controlled by from this panel and we can kind of see what it's doing. I think it, it kicks on at about 40 degrees and and it kicks off at 45 degrees but 45 degrees hot water is not uh, very much to um, to heat a radiator a radiator should really be about 60 degrees to really uh, you know it works it sucks in cold air down here and heats up the air here and it uh, blows out kind of thermal thing uh, 60 degrees hot air out here when it's only 45 degrees hot it doesn't do that nearly as efficient long time ago i did a video on uh, making this little helper for it this is a fan blower from an old intel cpu and it, uh, it fits very nicely onto the radiator down here 
uh, it, it, there. Um, the hot water comes in here, so putting the fan on this side of the radiator will give me the highest efficiency. Um, so the idea is that this fan blower will help blow air through the radiator so that it doesn't have to do that all by itself and the air will heat up faster. I built this to work off two lithium ion batteries because I had those laying around. I didn't build in any security or safety so it would dry up the batteries and, and it didn't really run that long on a couple of batteries. So let's see if we can run this off solar power, that would be nice. So we still have the solar panel in the window. Make sure that we are not blocking the lead here, we want maximum power. So this is the plus, let's see if we can connect to the plus, that's, that's fairly easy. And we have a plus lead that goes down to the fan, there, that can go down there, yeah, sure. And we have the minus lead, let's see if we can, yeah, we can connect to that, cool. That goes down as well. And this is of course not it, this is just a temporary setup for sure. So let's see, we we'll put this one on the minus there, and we we'll put that one on the plus. It is running, it's very hard to hear it. I think I have to, I have to take it out to show you. <laughs> okay, it's not running very fast, but it is running. So we could just put it here. I could try and uh, direct the sun. <laughs> oh, I can direct the panel, I can direct the sun. Way faster, okay, so a little further from the window and it spins a lot faster. You can see it spinning. So it was about here before. So you can kind of see it spinning a lot slower. Oh, the, the, oh now it stopped. Okay, so it needs to be f a bit further from the window, uh, probably because the panels at the edge does not get, oh, why does it stop? Yeah, we are running right at the edge of where there is power enough for it. Okay, we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're gonna stick it out the window. Uh, that's gonna let out all my heat. That's... Ah, for science! Mm. Open windows. Yeah, and now I can reach the camera to show you what's going on, but it's spinning really good now. Sit. Yeah, something like that that we want. Yeah, this would be very good. So if I could mount the solar panel outside, that would be awesome. Um, but that's not why I have this solar panel, so this is just a test project. I had to see if it worked, and it works. Cool. In the links in the description, there is a link to Banggood's um, page for where this is to be purchased. Um, that's not an affiliate link, but it is a tracking link. So um, if you go there, Banggood can see that um, I get a lot of traction. Um, don't have to buy this if you don't need it, but well, go check it out. I'm not gonna tell you the price. You have to go and check what it costs. It's not that cheap. But it might be an okay Christmas gift for your dad that always just wants new slippers. Um, this would be great for maintaining the car battery, uh, making sure that there is always power on the car. Auto camper, trailer, I have no idea. I'm gonna be using it for my robot lawnmower uh, next summer. Right now it's winter, shitty weather and bloody cold. So um, yeah, 100 watt solar panel from Banggood. I'm really gonna be enjoying this when the weather is gonna be permitting it, when I can lay in the garden in my hammock and have my robot lawnmower do all the work for me. <sighs> I miss summer. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a very nice day. Bye bye, I'm missing a hand here. Bye bye.